ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு டு எக்ஸ்போர்ட் ஆர் ஹவு டு கன்வெர்ட் அ ஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஃப்ரம் லூட் ரன்னர் டு ஜே மீட்டர் ஸோ சே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வி ஹாவ் அ ஸ்கிரிப்ட் அ ஒர்க்கிங் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் இன் லூட் ரன்னர் அண்ட் வி வாண்ட் டு கன்வெர்ட் it to a jmeter script and for that we do not want to create a script from scratch for example if you are working for a client and due to budget issue or due to support that jmeter has the open source support and for those reasons if the client or if the customer wants to convert all your low runner scripts to jmeter scripts you do not want to create all the scripts you do not want to record all the scripts from scratch so let's see how to convert a low runner script to jmeter and before that if the customer wants or if the customer has an understanding that when comparing with low runner to jmeter so they so he might know or he might have an understanding that the jmeter gui is more user friendly or at, at the other scenario he might know that the elements are easier to define in jmeter or he might know that building a test scenario is simpler in jmeter or he might also know a situation or he might also know a circumstance where the scripting is not essential in jmeter and again jmeter is a cross platform tool say for example if you can execute any script in windows mac os linux freebsd solaris aix and even in hp ux so jmeter is more a cross platform and platform independent tool and jmeter has an open source and unlimited open source community support and finally the scaling is free in jmeter you can even run 1000 virtual users for free in jmeter and which is not possible in a tool like load runner so considering these scenarios the client might want you to migrate your scripts from load runner to jmeter so before we move on to how to convert the scripts from load runner to jmeter this is me your vasant shanmugam i welcome you all once again to little sla youtube channel and if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe to our little sla youtube channel for more interesting and informative videos like comment your questions and feedbacks in the comment section and share the video with your friends so with no further delay let's go to the video and we'll see how to convert a low runner test or low runner script to jmeter step by step and for that we need a low runner script a working script in low runner and first let us make sure that the script works fine and we need to have a jmeter installed on the same machine so we need to have a load runner and jmeter in the same machine so let's first validate the script and make sure it works fine and here i have executed the script and let's wait for a few more seconds to make sure that the script works fine meanwhile we will open our jmeter tool and we make sure it's ready for converting the script so let's execute the script and make sure that the script works fine with the current settings and setup and also we make sure that the script works fine and the application also behaves well with the script so we have started our execution and 
and here we could see that the execution has completed successfully so that means that the application is working fine and the script is working fine so here we can see it has come as a green symbol and the script has passed so we are good to move the script or to record the script to jmeter now so let's see how to do that and for that let's open our jmeter tool and under jmeter let's go to the file menu and under file let's select the templates and under templates let's select recording option and let's select recording and let's click create button and let's click another time create and click on merge okay click on cancel so now we have our recording window ready for conversion and here we have to make few settings so let's I will take you through that so here we could see the HTTPS test script recorder which is disabled by default so let's enable that and to enable that we have to right click on HTTPS test script recorder go to the options and here we can see the enable option let's click on enable and under this we can have we have a view results tree so we have the test script recorder enabled now and under this let's check few settings so here we have the port number as double double eight and this is the port settings we have to have in the load runner enabled so that any recording that comes through this port will get recorded under jmeter so the next step is going to be clicking on start so let's click on start so this will track all or this will record whatever value that comes in from the load runner under this and for that so to make a sync between the load runner and jmeter we have to make few settings so let's go to load runner for that and under replay settings we'll have to make some changes so there for that we have to go to replay option replay menu and under replay we have runtime settings so let's open that and here we can see So under the proxy, so under the internal protocol and under that we have the proxy. So inside the proxy we have three different proxy settings. One is the no proxy which is direct connection to the internet and next is the use the default HTTP proxy setting. So this is what we get from the machine. And the third option is use custom proxy and this is what we are going to use for this test. and first for this so we we have already seen so in jmeter we are using the same port and make sure we use the same port here in load runner and as for the http proxy since we are using the same proxy for all the protocols make sure that we use localhost as the http proxy for recording the script and then we have to go to the run logic and make sure we are running only one iteration because sometimes if we run two iterations then that will be recorded as part of the script so we have to make sure that we have only one iteration under run logic so for any other settings we can make that in the jmeter and now we are ready to do the recording so for that we'll go to replay again and we can click run or we can either enter F5 button or we can even click this replay button so let's do that let's go to the actions and let's click on replay and before that let's make sure so we don't have any scripts under recording control so here we can see whatever scripts that, that is getting recorded that comes under recording control and we do not want to touch any other settings in here or we do not want to make any recording in jmeter so the only thing which we have to make is to make this setup to make this uh, runtime setups setup under the http proxy so let's save it for a safe safe side 
So these are the settings which we have changed. So we have changed the local host and we have changed the port number. And now we are good. And again, make sure that you use, use the same proxy for all the protocols here. And now we are ready to record the script. So let's click run. And let's move to JMeter and we will watch the recording here. Before that, let's again go here and make sure that the script execution has started. So the script execution has started here. And here we can see that the recording is running. So here in JMeter, we can see that these steps which we are executing in load runner are getting recorded in JMeter. So this is the first action. And then we have the second action, which is the cat log action. So we will that that in JMeter I'll show that to you and then we have the next action which involves the session ID let's wait for a few more actions and here we can see the login transaction and then we have the catalog action again and then here we can see a transaction which is selecting a fish and then we have the next action which is the signing off so we have got all the transactions. So here we can see the script is getting passed. So we have successfully completed or we have successfully exported the script to JMeter. So let's execute the script and we will see how does the script has been removed here or been exported to JMeter. So let's stop this. And now let's do a recording. So let's click on running or start starting the script. So I'm starting the script now. Let's click on save as. Yes. Let me click no for this and append to existing file. And here we can see every request that we have sent has passed successfully. And in the response data, we don't find so to see the exact transaction. So let's go to the options we have here and let me choose HTML. And under this, we can see the transaction. So here we can see the first screen is the entering the store. And the second screen is sign in where we, we sign into the application. And here we can see the sign in application has come in. And then we have logged in successfully. So here we can see the request data for that. And then the response data is signing into the application. And then we have moved to the fish as the page or the options. And then we have signed out of the application. So with this, we have successfully moved our script from low runner to JMeter. So with very less action in fact we did not even go to the application for recording but we have not made the recording but we have to parameterize and we have to make the scripts or we have to move the scripts into a folder so that we can measure the exact response time of every transaction and that has to be carried out and any parameterization and the correlation has to be done and if you have not watched it i have a video for that i will paste the link in the description on how to do the correlation and parameterization for jmeter if you have not watched it so with this we come to an end and this is a simple thing that we can do so for that so let me do a quick recap so we have to have load runner and jmeter installed in the same machine and we have the first step we have to make sure that the script is working fine so we just have to just execute the load runner script and make sure it works fine and then we have to go to load uh, the jmeter and we have to open the templates and open the recording and create the template and in that template we have to enable the http test script recorder and make sure we have the port number same in load runner and jmeter under the internet proxy we can find that so we have to make sure that we have double eight double eight as a port number or whatever the port number we have to make sure it is same and then keep localhost as the http proxy and once everything is set we have to start click on start button 
and at the same time here in loader we have to start the script and automatically all the steps will get generated in jmeter so with that we come to an end and i hope this video would have been very very useful to you please do subscribe for more informative and interesting videos until we meet you in another interesting video, this is me signing off.